If I wasn't going crazy or thinking I was doing enough, which I'm not, even when I think I'm doing enough, I'm not doing enough. Do some more. Do some more, Monty. That's what I tell myself every day. Yeah, you doing okay. You doing all right. Like, it's nothing you can say towards me because I'm my worst critic when it comes to anything that I'm doing. I'm my worst critic. When I feel like I'm doing good, nah, bro, you ain't doing enough. Like, I, t I tell myself that. And then you know what I do? Get off my ass and then I go harder. I go in. Listen, I'm using the work time to figure out a way to use my own time to make money. Are you listening? Please, please hear me, because some, some, some of what I be saying be going over people's head. What's good with my 3P family, man? Welcome to my channel, man. Dab me up, man. You already know the vibes. What's good, y'all? What's good, man? For all of my people that are new to my channel, you never seen my face before, welcome. My name is Monty. Welcome. Look like it's about to rain, so I'm going to get up out of here pretty soon. But I've been out here just trying to get my mind off of a lot of things. And I want to talk to y'all about locking in by any means necessary. Imagine if you locked in for 30 days. I told y'all, what, that was almost a month ago to... You know, figure out something that you want to do for 30 days. Stay consistent, disciplined, and lock in on it. Did you guys do it? I did. I did. And I learned so much through them 30 days of me just working towards what I wanted. 30 days. A full 360. 30 days of locking in and really setting goals out for myself, things that I wanted to attack, things I wanted to achieve, and I'm gonna give you the keys on how you can set and achieve your goals because these are things that I'm doing. And it's nothing better than being able to talk about it and be about it and doing it. Because I'm doing it. I'm a spin image of everything that I'm saying I'm going to do. I'm doing it. And I want you guys to do the same thing. You know, locking in comes with a lot, bro. This is not for the weak, especially for what I'm doing. You know, you got to have a lot of fire in you. You got to have a lot of fuel in you to keep this going. Okay. When you locking in, nothing matters. <clears throat> what do I mean by that? You have to sacrifice things and lock in. Like right now, I pretty much have nothing. And you guys, I'm going to get a little more, con I'll give you a little more context to what I mean. Like, that's why I'm going so crazy now. Like, if I wasn't even, if I wasn't going crazy or thinking I was doing enough, which I'm not. Even when I think I'm doing enough, I'm not doing enough. Do some more. Do some more, Monty. That's what I tell myself every day. Yeah, you doing okay. You doing all right. Like, it's nothing you can say towards me because I'm my worst critic when it comes to anything that I'm doing. I'm my worst critic. When I feel like I'm doing good, nah, bro, you ain't doing enough. Like, I, t I tell myself that. And then you know what I do? Get off my ass and then I go harder. I go in. You feel me? Like, it's, it's, this is no joke. Like, I know I joke a lot, like, I'm, I'm low-key a comedian, but I know I say funny stuff here and there, but this is real life. Like, when you lock in, you can have a full 360 in your life. What else can I do to show you? What else can I do, literally? Like, I, ha I have nothing else. I, there's no other way for me to prove that to you. I show it every day every day I know what you can do when you lock in on yourself when you lock in with you when you lock in with goals that you want to reach I know firsthand I failed so many times on my way getting here bro I don't I don't feel a lot of y'all don't know I have nine channels nine nine I damn near almost failed on every single one of them until I started learning. 
I started learning from my failures. It was only a failure until I started learning. When I looked, when I learned, things started to progress. And I'm, I'm, I'm proof of that. I have nine channels all together. My one channel that I failed on so many times, so many, just got the ball rolling. And it, was my, it wasn't even this one. It was a channel that y'all don't even know that I run. It was this channel where I'm running um, motivational videos, you know, and sleep, um, lucid dreaming music. That's what I post over there. It took so long. Y'all, I'm telling you, it took so long for it to finally click for me and for it to finally work. But I never gave up. Even when it came to this, I took so many breaks, y'all, because just life in general for me was just, it was pulling me. It was like tug of war, bro. Like, it really was. Lost my job. Fell into a depression. Didn't want to be on YouTube no more. Lost interest in YouTube. Didn't have the motivation no more. But something in me just that that all of that sadness, all of that stuff I was going through, something switched. It was something up in my brain, something, something in my heart. It just switched where I just told myself, no. I'm finna lock in and I can't take this. I can't be sitting around waiting. I can't be wasting no more time. Time is on a constant clock. That's what we got in common. Time. Time. We're constantly moving around this clock. One day you gonna have to pass away. One day I'm gonna have to pass away. We both have that in common. You ain't leaving that. Can't fight that. That's happening. That's just real. Now, what do I mean by time? Time is constantly moving. Time ain't gonna wait for you. Your time is coming. You have to be patient. Some people's time is over, done. I'm not taking that no more. I'm not taking that constantly moving around a clock all the time. Like life is constantly just moving like that. Granted. Yeah, I talk about quitting this job. And in the reality of it, yes, you're going to be working your whole life. Becoming an entrepreneur, you're going to be working. But here's the difference. Instead of me hating or mad that I have to get up and go to this nine to five, like, here we go. It feel like prison. Like you chained up like Django. Instead of it feeling like that every day, in my mind, I'm saying, why not build a business, become an owner, and do something that I like and work? See, the problem is I don't have no problem with locking in and I don't have a problem with working. Where I have a problem at is working at some place that feels like prison just because bills need paid. You get what I'm saying? That sucks. That's, that's the part that sucks. Okay, but I want you to lock in with your goals. Please do not give up on what you want to achieve in life. Please don't. Some people settle. I don't want you to settle. Yes. I'm not telling you to quit your job. I'm not telling you none of that. I'm telling from me, my experience, me, what I want to do. Now, you don't have to. My opinion, yes, keep your job, but don't let go of your dreams and things that you want to achieve. Keep fighting for that. Keep fighting for that till it pay off enough where you can leave this. That, that's what I'm telling you. That's why I want you to lock in because them dreams that you have, they're possible. Them things that you want to become, they're possible. You have to put the work ethic behind it. People just want something to happen overnight. Put that work in. 
I know I work. <laughs> I work. And even at work, I'm working on things I want to achieve, like YouTube. Do you know how many days I was at work? And on my break, I was literally sitting there making thumbnails, color grading, coming up with ideas. On my break, 15 minutes. I spent that whole 15 minutes. Some days I didn't even eat focused and locked in and on what I want to achieve. I'm locked in looking up stuff for uh, building my business credit because I wanted my, my business credit to be higher. Though That's what I'm spending my time doing. Listening to podcasts. Listening to um, self-improvement. Things that I want to do better within me. That's how I'm spending my time at work. Already tired. I use my work time to figure out a way to get into my own time. Are you, listen, listen, I'm using the work time to figure out a way to use my own time to make money. Are you listening? Please, please hear me, because some, some, some of what I be saying be going over people's head. A lot of people think I just be repeating stuff, but you're not listening. So maybe if I start putting like, the stuff that you're not listening to, that you need to hear, I'm going to put it at the beginning for you. I'm telling y'all, if you want a 360 in your life, make a change and lock in with your goals. Make a change with you. Lock in with your goals. Please. I want the best for you, my brother, my sister. I want the best for you. Even the people that don't like me and you hate on me, I want you to succeed because there's no way in hell you should be going to work or going through life and it's miserable. I hate there's people out here that's not eating. There's people that don't have a job. I hate that. That irks me. I want everybody to have a better life. That's what I want. But what are we going to do to change that?